It's hand-to-hand -hand academic combat between the warriors and the knights. Next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another game of Quiz Kids. And we have two teams we'd like to welcome to our show. First of all, over here, we have the South San Francisco Warriors. And we welcome back the Menlo High School Knights. Welcome, teams, to the show. We're going to get right into it with our first three-for-all round. I will ask a toss-up question. If you get it right, you earn five points. Answer a second question, you will earn 10 points. If you get all three right, you will earn 25 points. Good luck to both teams. Here's your first toss-up. It has been the capital since 1914. Which Russian city is the site? Yes, Roshan. Moscow. That's right. The Hermitage is a palace turned museum on which, in which city on the Neva River, a former Russian capital once called Leningrad? St. Petersburg. And which city was once called Stalingrad but is now named for the river on which it lies? Volgograd. That's right, for 25 points. <laughs> Knowing she was about to be captured, who in the original Star Wars recorded the message, Help me, Obi? Jacqueline. Princess Leia. Who told R2-D2, go that way, you'll be malfunctioning within a day, you nearsighted scrap pile? Luke Skywalker? Nope, it's C-3PO. Oh. Chimney Rock was a landmark along this overland trail that shares its name with Pacific Northwest State. Name this trail, yes, Heidi Hero. Oregon Trail. Chimney Rock is in which modern day state bordered by the Missouri River and bisected by the Platte River? Uh, Wyoming? No, Nebraska. In two-dimensional Euclidean geometry, lines that do not intersect and are not the same line, Jacqueline. Skew lines? No. Must have what property indicated by having equal slopes? You can just... Oh, we parallel. Can parallel. Right. In three dimensions, what four-letter term describes distinct lines that are not parallel and do not intersect? Skew. Skew. What type of non-Euclidean geometry has the property that even in two dimensions, there are an infinite number of lines through a point P that don't intersect a given line? It's hyperbolic geometry. This kind of literature usually contains a cutting word or a reference to seasonal weather. Lines of five, seven, and then five syllables. Jacqueline. Haiku. A famous haiku was written about the wind on this peak, one of the three holy mountains of the Shinto religion. Mount Fuji. Okay. Fuji? Mount Fuji? That's right. The wind on Mount Fuji was written by this Japanese haiku master who wrote the travel diary, Narrow Road to the Deep North. Um, Basho? That is right for 25 points. What two-word name is given to the two numbers at the start of a piece of music that indicate how many beats there are per measure and which, yes, Florence? Time signature. What term is given to the first accented beat in a pattern because of how it is typically illustrated by conductors? A beat. A beat? Uh, it's the downbeat. Which Atlantic region superstitiously linked with ship disappearance? Yes, Roshan. Bermuda. I need more. The Bermuda Triangle. Right. The title of a song by Weezer is what common symbol of gay pride and gay rights? Rainbow. No, the Pink Triangle. This show features the soup star Joel McHale as the former lawyer Jeff Winger. Yes, Heidi Hero. Community. Which former Saturday Night Live and National Lampoon star has seen a career resurgence since taking the role of Pierce Hawthorne in Community? Chevy Chase. Yes, and which Mad Men actress plays the cheerful Annie Edison on Community? Alison Brie. Both the Qin and Ming dynasties added to what barricade that at its height? Yes, Heidi Hero. Great Wall of China. Located south of the Antonine Wall, which structure built for the Roman Emperor in AD 122 spans northern England? Hadrian's Wall. What 187-foot exposed section flanking the Temple Mount is part of Herod the Great's renovations on top of King David's Temple? The Second Temple? No, it's the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall. 
This year has featured a number of royal weddings. In April, which country's Prince William married Kate Middle... Roshan? England. May I accept that? Okay. In July 2011, the South African swimmer Charlene Whitstock married which European principality's Albert II? Monaco. That's right. In June, to seal an alliance against pro-democracy protesters, Bahrain's prince, a crown prince, signed a wedding contract with an unnamed princess from the Wahhabi Kingdom. Saudi Arabia? That is, that is absolutely right for 25 points. I should have said which kingdom, and you got it. All right. He wrote a work that includes a section about the Grand Inquisitor and another novel that includes the murder of a pawnbroker. Name this Russian author of the brothers Karamazov and crime at Florence. Dostoevsky. Prince Mishkin is the title character of this novel, which criticizes the materialism of Russian society. The Idiot. The digestion of proteins begins in this organ. Name this organ between the esophagus and small intestine. The, yes, the Jacqueline. The stomach? Yes. The pylorus, the last part of the stomach, empties into which first portion of the small intestine? I don't know. It's du duodenum. One of his works includes the song, I am the very model of a modern nature general. Name this English composer who collaborated with W.S. Gilbert on comic operators such as HMS Pinafore. Heidi Hero. Sullivan. That is right. I am the very model of a modern major general is a song in which operetta in which Frederick wants to marry the major general's daughter Mabel but is bound to serve the title group instead? Uh, the Pirates of Penzance. That's right. Nanki Poo and Yum Yum are lovers in which Gilbert and Sullivan work set in Japan that features the song, Three Little Maids from School Are We? Hot Mikado. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not Hot Mikado, it's just The Mikado. Oh. And that is the last question. We'll be right back to meet the teams. Since 1952, San Mateo Credit Union has been proud to help San Mateo County members and their families achieve their financial dreams. Our deep commitment to the community we serve includes offering a wide variety of financial education programs like financial literacy workshops for youth, adults, and seniors, seminars about raising money smart kids, identity theft prevention, and many more. For more information about San Mateo Credit Union, visit us at www.smcu.org. Need some video work done? We can do that. We do all that video stuff. We can even put your video on that internet thingy. At Peninsula TV, we do full-blown in-studio production. Talk shows, performances, speeches, anything. Remote multi-camera production, on location, at your event. And for the budget-minded, single camcorder production, in high definition. We'll take your video project from first idea to finished product. For more info, contact Peninsula TV. And now it's time to meet the Quiz Kids. Once again, here's Brad. Welcome back. Let's say hello to the South San Francisco team. Jacqueline Kong, you're a sophomore, and you are on the speech team at school. There aren't a lot of speech teams at schools anymore, but you're on one. Yeah, I am. And what is your specialty? Um, well, I do original advocacy and impromptu. And do you have a good time? Yeah, I do. Fun, good. Yes. And it's probably going to help you a lot in future life, learning to speak well in front of people. Florence Lowe, you're also a sophomore, and you recently visited South Dakota to visit some friends and went to a famous monument there. Yeah, Mount Rushmore. And um, what was it like? I, I only know it from uh, North by Northwest. Did you hang off someone's nose? Or? No, no, we didn't do that. Didn't do that? Oh, that's too bad. That's, I think that adds to it. But yeah. anyway, I'm glad you got to see it. Greg Benavides, you're a sophomore and a member of the South San Francisco Marching Band, which had a very high honor bestowed upon it recently. Um, we got to march in the Independence Day Parade in Washington, D.C. over the 4th of July. Selected by Jackie Spear herself. Yes. Congratulations. That must have been very exciting. It was. Thank you. Good. Listen, I'm going to give you guys a chance to earn up to 100 points in our collaboration round. I have three categories. Each has seven questions, each worth 10 points. If you choose a category and give me all seven correct answers, I'll give you a 30-point bonus. Here are the categories today. It's just crazy. Non-standard languages and ending in E-A-U. Ending in E-A-U. All right. As you must imagine, all the answers end with the letters E-A-U. 
Nicknamed the Tiger, this president led France during the second half of World War I. Georges Clemenceau. In the H.G. Wells novel, this mad scientist blends humans and animals. This is the island of Dr. Moreau. This transcendental philosopher wrote Walden. Thoreau? That is right. In topography, it is usually a high, a level high plain. Plateau. Yes. This French philosopher contemplated the social contract. Rousseau. Correct. Another name for rock, paper, scissors, it shares its name with a general who helped with the, win the Battle of Yorktown. Rochambeau. Correct. He is the cartoonist who draws Doonesbury. Trudeau. That is right. Have I said seven? seven? Then I said seven, and you got five right. Congratulations. <laughs> I got so caught up, I couldn't say, whoa, W-E-A-U. Uh, uh, Menlo School, save me here, knights. Save me, my knights. <laughs> Catherine Pavlov, you're a senior. Very involved in a Tesla, Tesla coil project, yeah. as so many students should be, I'm sure. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by this? Um, <clears throat> a Tesla coil is a device that essentially creates miniature lightning bolts. Right. So you're trying to harness the power and destroy mankind? Not quite. I'm just working on making a better Tesla coil. The destroying mankind comes later. Okay, good. Wait till college. Hi, Hero Anto, you're a sophomore, and uh, you recently said you did a community service project. Yes, I went what to... What did you do wrong? Um, <laughs> I decided to go to Menlo. Oh. oh. Quickly, tell us what you did on that project for going to Menlo. Okay, so I went to the Georgia Travis Center in San Jose, and I played with some kids, and I also picked up some trash. You picked up trash. Again, I'd have to ask what you did wrong, but we're going to move on to Roshan Satyanarina. I'm so sorry. Say it. Satyanarina. Exactly. That's what I meant. You are, you are working at Stanford as a sociolo sociology research assistant. That's right. And uh, currently working on a project that's very interesting that I think young teenage men would be interested in. Yes, yeah, so what we're doing is we're testing to see the effects on risk-taking behavior by threatening one's masculinity. Right, like the questions I'm about to ask you now, when you choose this category, will it be, as so many teen boys are, it's just crazy, or as so many teens speak, non-standard languages? Yeah. Crazy? Sure. So crazy. Crazy. It's just crazy. Well, without using the word crazy, craziness is suggested in all of these questions or answers. Today it is proverbial. Uh, it was the first insane asylum in London. It was called Bedlam. He says, will this be madness that is method in it about Hamlet's behavior? And he said it just like that, if that helps. It's Polonius. In this Ken Kesey novel, an inmate plots against Nurse, nurse Ratched's tyranny. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Correct. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck star in this animation series. Looney Tunes. Right. This mythological hero and king of Ithaca feigned insanity to avoid service in the Trojan War unsuccessfully. Odysseus. Correct. This profession's use of mercury led to the proverb made famous by Lewis Carroll at a chaotic tea party. Hatter. No, the, the, the uh, phrase is, or the proverb is, mad as a hatter. Finally, this Ricky Martin song glorifies the rock and roll life. La Vida Loca. We got three right. Congratulations. And we'll be right back with more Quiz Kids. Now we're back with the second half of Quiz Kids. Take it away, Brad. Let's give a big hand to the judges, uh, the coaches, I'm sorry, for both teams. First from South San Francisco, Kristen Bradley. And from the Menlo School, Mr. Richard Steinberg. 
teams are going to move back to the three for all, but we're going to double the points. If you get one answer correct, it's 10. Two answers is 25. You get all three answers correct, it's 50 points. 130 for Menlo, 95 for South San Francisco. Good luck to both teams. Here's the first toss-up. After the Great Depression, they held a majority for over 50 years in the House of Representatives. Yes, Roshan. Democratic Party. Briefly after World War II, the Republicans regained the House under what president as a result of the 1946 election? Eisenhower. No, it's Truman. In some versions, this subterranean complex beneath Wayne Manor has a computer version of Butler. Yes, Heidi Hero. Batcave. In the comics, which Superman locale was originally in a mountain near Metropolis? In film, it was created by a crystal in an ice field. Anyone? No. The Batcave. No, no, Superman. Yes. Oh, Superman. The Fortress of Solitude, people. No. I don't like comics. What do you mean, no? Yes. <laughs> Superman's better than Batman. Anyway, although he wrote nothing, he is the best known and perhaps the most important Greek philosopher. Who, yes, Heidi Hero. Socrates? I know it's Superman. No, it is Socrates, I'm sorry. <laughs> In what biggest dialogue did Plato set out Socrates' vision of an ideal state with a superior government? Uh, Republic? The Republic? Yes. In which work did Socrates unsuccessfully defend himself against charges of corrupting the youth for which he was sentenced to death? Um. I don't know the name of it. I just know how he died. Yeah, I just know. <laughs> yeah. The Apology. Oh. It protects against double jeopardy. Which amendment in the Bill of Rights also bans forced testimony against oneself? Florence. The Fifth. Yes. Which amendment ratified in 1913 legalized the income tax? Uh. The Sixteenth. In Freudian psychology, what part of the psychic apparatus mediates between the superego and the id based on the reality? Yes, Catherine. The ego? Yes. Freud disliked the term subconscious and instead used what word to refer to mental processes such as those of the id that are not directly accessible? The unconscious. Starting in A.D. 1054, one of these phenomena was observed for nearly two years. Name these explosions that occur at the end of the life cycle of stars. Catherine. Supernova? Yes. One remnant of the 1054 supernova is which nebula, also known as Messier 1, whose name denotes its gangrene appearance? The crab, crab nebula. Crab. Yes. Found at the center of the crab nebula is an example of what type of rapidly rotating small stellar remnant? Uh, neutron star? Yeah, I think so. Neutron star? That is right for 50 oh. points. In both November 2009 and November 2010, neighboring countries under an armistice agreement since 1953 have clashed in the Yellow Sea. Name those two countries that share a peninsula. Yes, Heidi Hero. North Korea and South Korea? Yes. The November 2010 North Korean attack on Yongpyang Island may have been intended to ease internal tension over the planned succession of which youngest son of Kim Jong-il? Uh, Kim Jong-un. Yes. Both skirmishes involve violations of the maritime boundary known as the Northern Limit Line, which separates the two countries near what line of latitude? 37? Wait, um, 36. 36. 36. 36. 36 parallel? It's the 38th parallel. That's the last question. 105 for South City, 260 for Menlo. We'll be right back. Tournament champions will win an all expenses paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. It is time now for the countdown round. The questions are worth 30 points. I will read them, and the clock will start when I begin reading the first question. Good luck to both teams. Go. A raven called Moses speaks of Sugar Candy Mountain in this work that describes the rise. Yes, Florence. Uh... Uh, you may uh, uh, let me finish it. Uh, uh, the rise of a pig named Napoleon. The slogan four legs good, two legs bad is found in what anti-communist novel by George Orwell? Animal, Animal. Farm. Right. Uh, he was allowed to commit suicide after Hitler survived the July 20th plot. What general organized the German D-Day defenses and was known as the Desert Fox? Gregory. Uh, I'm sorry, you can steal. Rommel. Rommel? Yes. 
He foretold that Thetis would have a son mightier than his father. What titan was chained to a cliff for giving mankind fire? Stolen. Hide a hero. Prometheus. Correct. Uh, the last with a stable isotope, which toxic metal is at the end of the decay chain for uranium-238 and is still used in car batteries? Hide a hero. Lead. Yes. What city whose cathedral saw the 1478 Pazzi conspiracy lies on the river Arno and was ruled during... Yes, hide a hero. Florence. Right. Representatives Alan West and Alcy Hastings, along with Cubans, American Senator Marco Rubio, are from what southern... Yes, hide a hero. Florida. Right. It takes place every year in early April at the Augusta National Golf Club. Yes, Roshan. Masters. Yes. The enzyme herudin is isolated from which annelids used in limb reattachment surgeries that secrete it to prevent blood from clotting? Leeches. What strait leads past the city of Punta Arenas, separates Tierra del Fuego from mainland South America, and is named for a Portuguese? Yes, Florence. Strait of Magellan. Right. Characters in this work include the stubborn Giles Corey and a judge named Hawthorne. McCarthyism was the implied subject of what Arthur Miller play about the Salem witch trials? Roshan. The Crucible. Right. The positive integers, but not the negative integers, are closed under what arithmetic operation whose inverse is division? Catherine. Multiplication. Right. He served as an envoy to Mass Massasoit and taught techniques for cultivating corn to the colonists at Plymouth. Name this Native American who befriended the pilgrims. Roshan. Squanto. Right. In a 2011 referendum, what nation rejected a repayment deal associated with the collapse of Reykjavik-based Landsbanki? Hide hero. Iceland. Right. In which of his famous speeches did Abraham Lincoln pledge with malice toward none, with charity for all, in March 1865? Jacqueline. The Emancipation Proclamation. No, you can steal. Uh, the second. Lincoln. Uh, the second, second inaugural. Second inaugural address. That is right. Joseph Priestley called it alkaline air. What compound common in household glass cleaners has formula NH3? Roshan. Ammonia. Right. At Four Corners, which state meets with Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah? Roshan. That is right. That is the end of the game with 680 Menlo wins. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Promotional consideration furnished by the Burlingame Scottish Rite, the Knights Templar, Model Compilers, the Bay Area Academic League. Some questions of Quiz Kids are provided by National Academic Quiz Tournaments.